Uh, hopefully I get an iPhone 11. Hopefully we get something. And this is what it looks like. It literally is an iPhone. And then, but I'm starting to get really worried. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video for you guys. And today we are shopping on OfferUp. I've done a video like this before where I bought AirPods from OfferUp. I bought an iPhone 11 from OfferUp. But today I'm going to be buying an and now I'm going to be buying an iPhone 11. That's right guys, an iPhone 11. These things are so nice and they're normally like $700. So I've been going on OfferUp and I found iPhones as low as like $200 on there. So that's what today's video is going to be. We're going to be shopping on OfferUp and we're going to try and buy one. And hopefully I don't get scammed. Let's get shopping baby. Welcome to another episode of Sarah tries not to get scammed on OfferUp. So OfferUp is a very like legit app, but although it's not that legit, like, and I'm standing up because I have a lot of sugar in my system. <laughs> Caffeine. Okay. So here we are on offer up and my cover page is full of just tech iPhone X's iPhone 11's we're gonna go ahead and look up iPhone 11 first one that popped up 700 Ooh, three hundred and forty dollars for this white iPhone 11 this looks like brand new see it's kind of scary though because you find an iPhone you're like that's a pretty good deal and then you kind of have to go look at the person and be like let's see are they sketchy iPhone 11 purple 350 see it seems like legit you know I'm gonna go ahead and ask if this one's available because I want that iPhone. $500 for a brand new iPhone 11 Pro? See, this doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right. It says new condition, 256 gigabyte, and he's a true U member. That means that they are legit. Oh, this is so sketchy though. $500 for a $1,200 phone? Okay, you know what? We're gonna keep looking. We're gonna put that in our back pocket. Ooh, purple iPhone 11, 450. See, what the heck is this? Like, who is this person? I don't trust this Caesar guy, you know? Cesar. See, look at this one, look at this one. $300 iPhone 11. It's just this random person, brand new iPhone 11 for $300. It's not right, it's not right. No one is responding to me. Look at this, all of these that I've asked if they're still available, nobody answers me, nobody. And finally, after going through offer up for hours and hours, going through iPhone after iPhone, I finally came across this blue iPhone 11 unlocked 128 gigabytes. And the guy says in his description, that it is a hundred percent original with receipt from the Apple store. Okay, so I'm texting this guy right now and I'm putting is the iPhone 11 still available? Okay, so they responded with the green one and I'm gonna put yes. Okay guys, pretty much he texted me back a picture of the phone, the iPhone in the box with my number written down. Pretty much that means he has the phone, like it's legit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and ask him how much because I don't know if he's still gonna like go with the original price. Okay, so finally he responded and he put 300 so it looks like we're about to get out $300 iPhone right now, baby. Oh my god, he just sent me a request for Apple Pay and he asked for my shipping address. Do I send this stranger my address? This seems sketchy, guys. I can't just send him money on Apple Pay. Okay, I'll just text him my address. I shouldn't do this. Everything in my phone is telling me not to do this because like on Apple Pay, I'm just sending him money. Like there's no receipt. There's no nothing going on here. There's no transaction. Why would someone get rid of a brand new iPhone? phone for $30. No one would do that. Okay, we're back again and he sent me this long list of transactions that he has done in the past. So like he's pretty much sent me a bunch of text messages of people he's worked with and the shipping receipt of him shipping out their product. So right now I'm kind of convinced it looks legit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all right, it looks good. He put, I never sold there cause there's commissions fees. I always sell here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just Apple pay this guy and hope for the best right now like I am so nervous like I could be giving some random stranger $300 am I stupid am I stupid am I dumb am I dumb am I making a mistake but you never know if you don't try that's what this channel is about it's about trying and experimenting the I don't know I don't think it's fake he sent me a picture of the phone he sent me a bunch of his receipts that he sold before I'm just gonna Apple pay this kid $300 okay uh, hopefully I get an iPhone 11 Okay, I just sent a stranger $300 right now. That was probably really dumb, but it's for the video. It's for the video. I guess I'm gonna cut it off here, and it said he literally just texted me right now that he is going to be shipping it out as soon as he can, and it should be getting here. So I guess we wait a week now, and then hopefully we open a real iPhone. Hopefully we get something. That's it for right now, guys. I'll check up with you guys in a week.
Okay guys, it's been about five days and I am so freaking excited because it came in. I'm just overwhelmed and excited that something came in, you know? I was kind of worried that I was just gonna like go months and months and nothing would come in. I am praying that this is an iPhone because if it's not, well, I'm down $300. So let's just unbox it, yeah? It's kind of heavy, but I'm kind of worried because I don't know why it's in this plastic. It feels like a phone though. Also in the bag, a charger, an Apple charger. The moment of truth. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm going to show you guys first. Oh my god! Wait, what? We did not just get an iPhone 11 for $300. Oh my god. I was so scared. I was so so nervous because like I just sent this person money and I didn't know if I was gonna get anything but I actually did oh god I'm so happy it looks good like so far so good I'm gonna go ahead and try and turning it on so we can like see if it starts up sometimes they glitch out and you have to do like the top button bottom button middle button you know what it might be dead because it was literally in the mail for probably like a week so I'm gonna go ahead and charge this and I will be back and hopefully it will turn on because right now it's not turning on but I think it's just probably because it's dead and that's probably why they sent me the charger so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and hopefully it will turn on <laughs> hello hi who's in the chat I can't see anybody what's everyone doing <laughs> I have to go too. I have to finish filming. Okay guys, so it's been about 20 minutes and I'm starting to get worried because the phone is literally not turning on. <sighs> I have left it film like I've left it charging for like 20 minutes and still nothing. Like I don't understand though because I literally opened it and this is what it looks like. It literally is an iPhone and then now it's like not turning on. I don't know if they sent me a broken one. I don't know like if it got broken during shipping or something, but I'm starting to get really worried because I spent $300 on this and it's not turning on and my parents are going to kill me when they find out that I spent $300 and I did like this is what I got but yeah guys I'm like really really disappointed and I'm hoping that like maybe if I take it to like a phone company or something they'll like fix it or something because like I cannot take this loss right now like $300 this video was like a huge fail and like I don't really know what to do anymore Like I don't even know if I'm gonna post this video because like it's not turning on and like I mean it I really thought I got a phone, but I don't understand why it's not turning on dad Can you come here real quick? Can you look at this real quick? Can you look at this real quick? I I ordered it off of offer up and it's not turning on offer up how much did you pay for it? 300 Okay, so you sent a stranger 300 bucks for a phone that doesn't work. How do you even know if it's real? Did you look at the reviews or anything? No. You would send three hundred dollars to just somebody just for a phone that you don't even know if it works. Well, it was for the video. I didn't know it was gonna be fake. Wait, I think I see something. Oh no, that's my reflection. I think it's fake or broken. What happens if you? Well, I don't know much about iPhones, sweetheart. But aren't you supposed to hold the button down to like turn it on? Yeah, it's not turning on. I was charging it for like twenty minutes and nothing's working. Maybe you need to charge it like twenty-four hours. I, I don't, don't know, know what to do, and I can't get a refund because I sent it not on Apple. I'll throw up. Oh, what did you send it on? Apple Pay. Did your eyes hurt? Fine. You got it poked. I don't get it. They poked your eyes, sweetheart. This is not even a real iPhone. This is probably just some case or some plastic. Piece. Isn't that illegal or something? Like. Yeah, it's illegal, but good luck catching them. Do you have any other information? Do you know where they live? Do I just you? have their phone number. Mm. Is there anything I could do to cheer you up? It's fine, Dad. Okay. I'm just gonna finish the video. All right. I love you. I'm sorry. Okay, guys. So I'm pretty sure it's fake. I thought maybe it would be broken or something, but it's actually fake. Because the more I look at it and the more I try to like turn it on and stuff, and I watch some YouTube videos on like what fake iPhones look like, and this one is definitely fake. So pretty much I got scammed out of $300. So that kind of sucks. And my dad is kind of upset with me, and my mom's probably gonna like get mad at me after this. But I don't think OfferUp is a scam. I just think that if you talk to someone off of OfferUp, which is what I did, is so stupid. Like, I don't know why I thought that I would send money to a stranger with like, cause on OfferUp, like everything's controlled through OfferUp. But if I send it like through Apple Pay, you can't get anything back. So I just feel really stupid right now, but this is pretty much what the iPhone looks like. I really thought it was real for a second. And I mean, it looks real and it feels real. And I'm just really sad cause I was really looking forward to 
it because I was gonna give this away to you guys because I do have a giveaway still going up on my Instagram where if you guys send me a bad quality selfie and you have the worst quality then I'm gonna buy you a new phone I think that's gonna be all for this video guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it um, if you guys give this video a thumbs up it'll at least make it worth it since I spent $300 and I didn't get anything thank you guys so much for watching do not forget Avocado member of the month. If you guys want to win Avocado member of the month and win a free avocado plush and a shout out, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down when you're done and you're entered to win Avocado member of the month. Please like this video. I spent $300. <sighs> okay, that's all I have for you guys today. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I will see you guys next Sarah Grace Saturday. I wish I could tell you how we go, oh uh, man And I wish I could tell you that I know my plan I wish this was easy like a finger up uh, uh.